What is happening everyone, Danny Feng here and recently I got myself a new camera to add into my camera collection, another tool to express a visual language and this camera is... So... <laughs> Not so much a brand new camera. It's quite an old camera. This actually is just a camcord. So end of last year I actually went back home to Cyprus, which is where I was born and raised. I went to visit my family and I found this bad boy in our closet and I said, hey, does this still work? Once I realized that it still works, I was just like, I gotta take it back to Berlin and use it on some projects. I think we got this in 2006, I think. 2006? 2005, 2006? Something like that. And I think my dad got this camera for my sister's birthday. I think that was the story. And um, yeah, my sister never really shot much with it, but my dad did actually use it quite a lot uh, during my teenage years. And the awesome thing is that this camera brings such a nostalgic vibe. Anything that I film on it just reminds me of like the 2006, 2007 kind of vibe, you know, and it gives me this kind of warm, happy feeling every time when I film on this. So if I haven't mentioned, this camera is the... Let me see where I can find it. So this camera is called Sony DCR DVD 304. So that's the model. It's so fun shooting on this camera because when I was back home in December uh, visiting my parents, I shot a bunch of content just with this camera and it was so nice. It kind of felt so freeing to shoot on this camera. It kind of felt like, as cheesy as it may sound, it kind of made me feel like in the moment. For example, if I shoot on the Sony camera or any other cameras, that I own, it always feels like there is a detachment between me and what is actually happening. But with this camcorder, this point and shoot camera, you know, I just let it roll, point it at whatever. I'm not even looking at the viewfinder at this point. I'm just kind of enjoying whatever is around me and it's just being documented. So how does one use this camera? Well, I mean, it's pretty simple. At first, I just need to turn on the little on button and it does a little sound. And the way how this captures media is onto mini DVDs. Put the DVD inside, just hold this little button over here and it should just open up always takes a little bit of time so yeah we got a little dvd thing going on over there so you pluck that in so these mini dvds can record i think up to 20 to 30 minutes per side so uh, yeah clip that in and then uh yeah don't forget to remove the little lens cap there we go see a little flippy screen pretty cool you can go very dad mode you know put this around your hand you hit the record button at the back boom and then you're in business so as usual with camcords you can zoom in and out so you got your little zooming in and out situation here w for y t for telephoto say we want to zoom in you get this classic retro -y camcord you kind of look you zoom out you zoom in and so on and so forth and also you can flip this like this and oh look at that you can clip it like that you can now do your vertical video so you can literally shoot like this then you get your vertical content with this digicam which is kind of cool I think this camera has something called night shot plus which essentially what it is it's like night vision uh, mode if I point this at myself I don't know if you can see it look at that so cool <clears throat> so yeah you get this kind of like greenish kind of look so it's kind of like these night vision goggles that we are familiar with that's essentially what it's trying to do on this camera See, if I turn it off, it looks like that. Making a video of a video. <laughs> this also captures audio as well, so the microphone actually is not too bad for this kind of camera. In fact, I think this captures better audio than my Sony built-in microphone, so <laughs> yeah, go figure. So yeah, you may be wondering how does the images look like through this camera. So let me roll a little uh, short film that I shot with this camera when I was in uh, December, just kind of documenting moments in time. How do you use this 
I think what's interesting about shooting with older cameras is that it kind of gives you a different perspective visually. You know, with cameras nowadays, you know, everything can shoot 4K, uh, everything's like 10 bit, 422, you can shoot it flat so you can color grade it like crazy, you know. All cameras nowadays are great, you know. And I think for me personally, I like to find tools that add a little bit of character, add something different to my images, just expanding my paintbrush, so to speak, so I can communicate different kinds of uh, emotions and feelings through my visual work. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as usual, if you like this video, like this video because it does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next video. And until then, keep on creating, keep on inspiring.